there are, are ways to buy stocks, and one of the, the ways that I have always used, and I, I have uh, suggested that, that people want to maybe perhaps explore doing on their own, is through what are called direct purchase plans, okay? Uh, companies will allow you to buy the stock directly through the company. Actually, the company does not get involved with the, the, uh, the, the transaction. It's a, it's a regular uh, in brokerage transaction through a program that's set up there. That allows you to, to, to invest in, in, uh, in about 400 companies, uh, that, uh, that uh, do not require that you already be an existing shareholder and you can buy the stock directly. In, in some cases, there are no fees at all for doing this. In some cases, there are small fees. And in some cases, there are relatively high fees. But it is a great way to go. One of the things I like about it is that it's a great way to get started as an investor with a small amount of money. Most of these direct purchase programs, uh, it varies, but probably on average, we'll let you start with $100, uh, $250, something like that. And it's a great way to do stuff for kids, grandkids, uh, and set aside money for them and contribute on a regular basis. You can do it on a monthly basis, quarterly, however you want to do it, birthdays and stuff like that. And it's a great way to, to, uh, to do this. Most, um, all of these companies, almost all of these companies, there may be a few exceptions, pay a dividend. And what they encourage you to do with this is then reinvest the dividends so that you wind up owning more shares over, over a period of time. It, it's the way I invest. That doesn't make it right or wrong, but it's the way that I invest. And so I like direct purchase programs and I like dividend reinvestment programs. They're a great way to get started, okay? And uh, they have worked really well. You can get a list of these companies that have direct purchase programs by going to a website called DRIP, D-R-I-P, Investor.com, D-R-I-P, Investor.com. It's actually a website for a newsletter that uh, is uh, all about dividend reinvestment programs. Uh, at the bottom of the first page, you'll see a spot where it says more, click here or whatever. Just to, you, it's obviously a, a link to the next page. And when you get there, you'll see what uh, Chuck Carlson, the, the, the guy who puts it all together, refers to as no-load stocks. These are, he calls them no-load stocks. These are companies that you can buy directly. And uh, again, it's just a, a really great way to, uh, to get started as an investor. I like to do it because, again, if you'll, if you'll do it and do it in the proper way, it will allow you to invest and, and take all the emotions out of, out of investing because you do it automatically. You know, we have about six of our core holdings in my, my family's investment portfolio that we did through these programs. And we have authorized them every month to take a certain amount of money out of our bank account uh, to automatically buy more stock. And sometimes you buy when the stock is high. Sometimes you buy when you, it's low. You're doing classic dollar cost averaging. I, I, I never look at them. I never look at them. I pay no attention to them at, at sober because number one, I have no intention of ever selling any of these things. And it just is a great way to, to have that discipline of investing on a regular basis and not saying, gee, I think the stock market's too high, uh, so I don't want to invest now. Or, gee, it's too low, it's too risky, I don't want to invest. Now, you can always come up with an excuse for not investing. Okay? This way it's done for you automatically, takes all the emotions out of the way.